how to create concept diagrams like big architects. The project diagrams by the BRK Ignis group are characterized by clean and simple representation. They show a project along with the surrounding building context and they're really effective in conveying the design process. Today, we'll be looking at how to create these diagrams in the easiest way possible in just under 10 minutes. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. So let's get started. For this video, we'll be trying to recreate the exact concept diagrams from one of Big Architects projects. We'll be recreating the diagrams of Via 57 West Apartments located in New York. These are the diagrams in Art Daily. So let's put them together in Photoshop. There are about 9 diagrams here and we'll be trying to recreate all of them together. The first part of the process is to create a block model of the site with the surrounding buildings. Creating each of them manually might be a really tedious task, so let's look at an alternative. There are many websites that actually give us 3D models of a site and one such website is cadmapper.com. This website offers free 3D models up to 1 km of radius, which is quite sufficient for the model that we want. Let's go into this website and search for the location of Y57 Apartments. This takes us to the location and if you zoom in and zoom out of this map here, you'll notice that up to 1 km it shows as a free file and if you zoom out of that, you'll have to purchase the drawing as per the size of the map. Let's just zoom exactly close to 1 km and once you're happy with that, you can choose the file format on the left side and create a file. For this process, I'll be using SketchUp but you can use Rhino as well. We have the file and let's download it, extract the file and we have the 3D model. Let's open it up. The 3D model here, I wouldn't say is 100% accurate but it still does the job for the concept diagrams that we are doing. As you can see, this building here is actually the YR57 apartment and the block model has created it as a rectangular volume rather than the diagonal volume of the design. We can clean up some parts of the model if you want. And once we've done that, let's choose the building, make it into a group and move it out of the main model. I've added a white color on the model and let's pick a view similar to the concept diagrams of Big Architects. It's an isometric view with parallel lines, but it's not exactly 30 degrees or in a two point perspective as you can see here. So let's try to match it closer to that and add a scene. We have the site model in place and the next step is to render it to create an image with soft shadows like this. It's just a simple rendered image in black and white with soft shadows. So let's try to recreate this in V-Ray. You could use V-Ray, Enscape or any other rendering software within your 3D software. The settings in V-Ray are pretty much the default settings with just a few adjustments to be made. Firstly, we'll have to keep the aspect ratio as match with viewport in case we want to overlay the model image with the rendered image. And for the next setting, Turn on material override and choose a light shade of grey in the override color. And those settings should be fine for this process. Let's also adjust the blocks and fine tune a few areas. I would also zoom out a little bit so that the buildings just adjacent to the site are visible completely. Once done, we can hit render and save the image. Now let's open a new file in Photoshop and drag the image into the canvas. Here we need to make a few adjustments like the color corrections and add some colors to represent the water on the front. So I'm just going to add a black and white filter and also an exposure filter to match it somewhat closer to the original concept diagrams. For the water, let's make a selection using the polygonal lasso tool and add a light shade of blue with the gradient tool. With that, the site model is ready. We now have the site model rendered and the next step is to create block models to show the design evolution. Before we move on to that, this video is sponsored by Rayon Design. Rayon is an online design software that allows you to draw and render floor plans simultaneously. This platform offers customizable walls, doors and window elements that make the drawing process really efficient. An extensive library of over 2000 furniture blocks ranging from beds, sofas and human figures that you can simply drag and drop into your drawing. You can render your drawing just like using Illustrator and add textures, colors and patterns. You can also collaborate with anyone in real time, making it one complete solution for making 2D drawings. Rayon currently offers a free account for anyone to get started. Check out the link in description to try Rayon now. We had moved aside the original building from the block model, so let's use that as a reference to create a basic block of the building. The first two diagrams here are just representations on the site itself. So let's start from the third diagram. This one is just a cuboidal volume. On the second diagram, we just offset the model and create a cutout in the center. We can add a green color in SketchUp itself so that it saves a bit of time. The next model is the same representation, but this has transparency and highlights the central volume. There are multiple ways to do this 
and one way is to just add a glass around the block model, change the color and reduce the opacity. That is done and for the next model, we need to create an angular edge. We can do that in SketchUp by just using the move command and holding the corner and moving it in the vertical axis. And let's also move the other corner to match with it. Notice that we have some lines here which we do not need. We can erase that by using the eraser tool and holding the control command. That will give us a neat diagram. The next one is a copy of the same, but this time we'll have to move the opposite edges on the downside on the blue axis. Let's erase the other lines the same way and we have all the diagrams ready. We can export these to Photoshop, but before that, the angle of these diagrams need to match with the exact angle of the building context. We can do that by placing each block model onto the empty site using a reference point and exporting each model as a separate image. You can adjust the style settings here as per your liking. The back edges could be made visible. The profile and depth queue can be increased to make the outlines more prominent. When it's ready, we can just export it and save it as a 2D image. Similarly, we need to place the next diagram in the exact position, hide all the other models and then export the diagram separately. We'll have to repeat the process for all the other diagrams that we have. Now we have the site image and the block models ready. So let's start arranging them in Photoshop. Once exported, let's drag and drop all the images into the Photoshop file. Let's rasterize them and remove the white background from all the images. We can notice that it matches with the exact position on the site. We can make any smaller adjustments if needed. Now let's start recreating all the diagrams from the original image. The first diagram shows the site. For that, let's use the pen tool, change the strokes as dotted lines and the color as red and let's draw a rectangle to show the site. Let's type in the text and we can place it in position by right clicking and using this Q command. I'll be arranging all of them in proper layers for easy access. The next diagram shows the accessibility roads using arrows. We can recreate that by just drawing a rectangle and using the direct selection tool to move the edges and the pen tool to add the arrowhead. Let's drop them in position, distort it and make copies to place them on both the ends. That is diagram 2 and the next one is just the rectangular volume with outlines. We can use the pen command once again with black stroke to create these outlines. The next diagram just shows the central opening and a black stroke which we can simply copy from the previous diagram. I'm adjusting the levels to make them a little wider. The next diagram is almost the same but this shows the wind movement. So let's copy the arrow that we created initially, use the distort tool to place it in position and use the gradient tool to create the colors. The next one is the transparent block. Let's simply copy the outline stroke, change it to dotted lines and use the lasso tool to draw a simple arrow. The next diagram needs an outline once again and the arrow that we just created can be copy pasted once again. The last diagram is almost similar as well. It just has outlines and arrows on all the corners. Let's add all of them in separate groups and crop the white corners and we have the final diagram. So that was it for creating concept diagrams like Big Architects. I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. Comment down below if you got any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.